Speaking of Holly Clegg, we are heading back into Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, where Holly and AJ this month are giving Louisiana beef a little southwestern kick. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hello everyone, welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. I am AJ Sabine along with Holly Clegg. And Holly, it's September and fall has fallen upon us. And you've got two, one savory, one decadent dish for our viewers. What we got today? Simple from my new cookbook, Kitchen 101, that I'm debuting the recipes here and two of my absolute favorite. Come on, let's get started. Let's get started, folks. Okay. Here we go, we have sauteed our ground meat, and if the trick is you have to use Louisiana ground meat. And you know, I always say to use uh, the cut of meat that ends in a loin or a round, because that's your leanest cut. Mm -hmm. so, and there's really, it might be a little more pricey, but I promise it's so lean. Uh, and so this is just basically we sauteed. And you can see our meat is cooked, and yes. that's all you do it. And then we're gonna add some ingredients. Now first, we're gonna start with an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. All right. I'll let you stir, be my number one stir. Oh, and it's a really great combination. It's Southwestern, simple Southwestern casserole, one dish, mm -hmm. black beans, and you always want to rinse and drain your beans to reduce sodium, any canned beans. Holly, this smells so good. What inspired this recipe? Well, you know, I love Southwestern flavors and I love Louisiana uh, ground meat. Mm -hmm. I'm a ground meat person, you know, when it comes to beef, get it all, it, mix it okay, all. all right. And then this is enchilada sauce, and I use the mild enchilada sauce. And you just add this, get it all together. Okay. And that's these, you know, the tomato sauce and the enchilada sauce work really well in great flavors. And then a little corn, and you could use frozen canned corn, whatever you want. Yummy. Now, Holly, we're talking Louisiana beef here, and did you know that Louisiana is a cow-calf state? And what that means, folks, that means that Louisiana producers produce calves that go on to increase our national livestock herd. No, I did not know. Isn't That's that why cool? I have you around for the facts. I do the recipes. All right, let's go finish it off with my secret ingredient, if you okay, don't mind so carrying that. so bring it over here. All right. right. We're going to do that here. All right. Now, the last ingredient, you have it Oops, all together. You move that. Is this. Now, here's our surprise ingredients. And this recipe is my kids, my family's absolute favorite, biscuits. Biscuits. So I'm going to add biscuits. But you know the easiest way to cut biscuits? I'm going to give you my favorite tip. Use a kitchen okay. scissors. And take kitchen that, shears. All right. right. And take so that biscuit. Do, okay. Cut it in half and cut this it in fourths. This is a little show and tell. Yeah. All right. Cut it in fourths. Uh, kitchen scissors are wonderful. It's one of my favorite kitchen tools. It cuts pretty much everything. You just don't think about it. And it's easier. It doesn't stick. And But you folks at home, don't lose a finger. Okay. Yeah, no, right. This all is right. something. Yeah. And then and we just put this yeah, right put in Put it here. in, as you see. And I'm just right. going to mix all this together. And yes, I am putting raw biscuits into this meat mixture. The flavors, it's my son-in-law's favorite recipe. When I made it, they were like, hmm. And I don't know, just the flavors really work together. Great family favorite and easy. We, that's good. And then we're going to put okay. it in here. Transfer it to your baking dish. Now, Holly, because you used the beef, which is a, when you use sirloin, which is a very lean cut, they're only right. like 275 calories to this whole recipe. Yeah, oh, it's very right. Well, everything I do is trim and terrific. It has your nutritional information and your diabetic exchanges. Now, you bake this for about 25 minutes, and then right when it's done, I put a little cheese on it to melt it. And one time I made it and forgot the cheese, and it was just as good. So if you're lactose intolerant or something, you could do that. All right, so there we go, and we're going to pop it in the oven, and we are done, and I can't wait for you to taste it and my special. If you like cheesecake and Oreo cookies, you will want to come back. Oh, yeah. So stick around, folks. We'll be right back. We are back, folks. Thank you so much for sticking around. And Holly, the sweet and savory recipe is it your new cookbook. It is my new book, which is just out in the stores, debuting here today, is Kitchen 101. It's the easiest of easy of my books. It has a start simple section, rotisserie chicken, and this is this recipe, simple southwestern casserole, is from the Fix It Fast. And if you like crock pots, a whole crock pot convenience. So I think it really easy. easy. Is it easy enough for me? It is so easy. The recipes are so tasty and fabulous. I use the least amount of ingredients to give it the most flavor. Whether you're new to the kitchen, you don't have time in the kitchen, 
this book is for you. Even has a kitchen dictionary and all the kitchen basics. Anything you wanted to know to improve your kitchen or understand your kitchens in the beginning. Well, Holly, in the words of Darth Vader, impressive. Well, the Very proof impressive. is in the tasting always. And as I said, this is my family's favorite recipe. Simple Southwestern casserole. Your surprise ingredients well, I can't wait are to biscuits. Dig in here. And so I wanted to get some so you could try. Sort of the meat and biscuits come together. Oh, we've got to get you some of the good stuff. Yummy. And this is my uh, cookies and cream cheesecake. So easy to make and make ahead of time. You put an Oreo cookie in the bottom and you crush up, up some Oreo cookies and put them in a little cupcake and you make ahead and freeze them. And these are absolutely delicious. Fun party foods too. Or kid foods are, I don't know, my husband goes and grabs them out of the freezer all the time. Well, I want to make sure Avery got a shot of this because this is really, really beautiful. And so you have sweet and savor all at the same time. So I'm going to dive in here so that I can give you a I'm really a excited. Reading. Yeah, well, and I, I, this recipe is sort of a surprise, mm. good flavors. All those Southwestern oh flavors come together with your Louisiana ground meat. It's That's so hearty. You know what? It's a partnership. Louisiana food, and this time it's ground meat, and my wonderful recipes. I mean, mm -hmm. what can I say? Folks, if you'd like more information about this sweet and savory recipe or any information about Louisiana beef, please log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And you can go to my website for more recipes and information about Kitchen 101, which also is in my Trim and Terrific series with your nutritional information and diabetic exchanges. And my website is hollyclegg.com. And you want to sign up for my monthly menu newsletter. It's every month with good tips, surprises, and who knows what I'm going to put in it. Well, that's all from here, folks. We'll have more inspiring recipes next month. Stay tuned next time. We'll see you later. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner.